Hey, good morning, fam. Welcome to another adventure with Peggy and the Don. But this morning, it's just me, the Don. Um, I'm out here doing a little bit of trail under the underpass to get down to this river, the Missouri River down there. But somebody asked me last week if I felt like the Army has prepared me in any way to be a better prepper. Well, the answer to that is easy, a resounding yes. Not just like the survival training that you would expect, but the Army has a mindset. They have something called resilience. Being able to accomplish the mission no matter what you have, no matter what supplies are given to you, no matter what obstacles are placed in your way. We as Americans have grown very accustomed to modern conveniences. Uh, cell phones, central heat in every home, and if you want water, all you gotta do is turn on the faucet somewhere. That's not the case all over the place. That, that might not always be the case. You might not always be able to get uh, safe water to drink by turning on a faucet. Uh, but when we were in Bosnia, they had warning signs on all the water fountains not to drink the water because it was not safe to drink. So every, every year, this is gonna bring back some bad memories for a lot of military people, but we had to get refresher training about survival. And the very first thing was about water. Well, the first thing was about evasion, and then it was about you evade the enemy, then you look for water, shelter, and food. So I guess the second thing was about water. And they gave us a whole bunch of warnings, like you, you, you want to try to avoid standing water. They call it stagnant water because that's where uh, it's a breeding ground for mosquitoes and uh, diseases and stuff like that. They uh, talked to us about the difference between palatable water and potable water. Potable water is, means it's safe to drink and palatable water means it tastes good. Um, they will give us uh, salt pills and have us test it out. So we go find some bad water, put the salt pill in it, it'll be warm water sometimes, and the salt would kill the, uh, the salt pills will kill the bacteria that's inside of it and we, it'll be safe to drink and some guys will get sick because of you're not used to warm, tepid water. But anyway, so what I wanted to do this morning was see if I can go to this uh, water down here. This is the Missouri River behind me. This is the Missouri River behind me. And uh, it's moving, but it's not clean. It's definitely not clean. So I've tried to see if I can uh, get myself a nice, cool, refreshing drink of water. Uh, a nice, safe, cool, refreshing drink of water. Peggy told me this morning, Donald, be safe. I was like, baby, I've been in the military 26 years. Like she was like, I know, be safe. She loved me. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I'm gonna show y'all a few things what my plans, is, my plans are for trying to get myself a nice, safe uh, drink of water from the Missouri River. All right, fam, okay, so, what I've been using today, I'm gonna start off with the Sawyer water filter. Now, there's plenty of YouTube videos about this. Uh, supposedly, it, move, it removes 99.9999% of, I don't know, microns of biological contaminants and stuff like that. There's videos of people taking this bottle, walking up to a water source, scooping up some water, and drinking it. Nothing else. Now, that's not what I'm going to be doing today. Call me a wimp or whatever else it is, but I'm not trying to say it doesn't work. First of all, let me say this. I am not sponsored by Sawyer. Sawyer did not send me the bottle. I paid for this bottle out of my own pocket. Okay, let me throw that out there too. But anyway, so I'm not trying to say it doesn't work like that, but I don't take chances like that. The Army told me there's uh, three problems with water, public water sources like this. Um, you got your contaminants, you know, sediment like sand, twigs, creatures. Then you got your bacteria. Uh, so supposedly this gets rid of almost all of the bacteria. If it's 99.9999, if it removes that much of the uh, bacteria and sediment, then that's the water that comes out of here should be cleaner than the water you get in a water bottle at your local grocery store or something. But see, the third thing 
is viruses. You can't filter viruses. Viruses have to be killed. They have to be decontaminated. So I have a little vial of bleach. So I'm gonna use a three-step process before I try to take a drink from this water, from this river. So the first thing I gotta do is collect some water. I went to the dollar store yesterday and bought one of these little uh, canning jars, right? And I got a 50-foot nylon rope. So I'm gonna dip this into the water and try to collect some water. Well, the first thing I want to say is how clear I am surprised that this water is as clear as it is. Yes, it's cloudy, but in the military, we wouldn't even clear this. We just add a salt peel and start drinking. That's pretty impressive. I did not expect that this morning. So it just only goes to show there's, there's water available all around you. So. What I want to do now is I want to get this water straight. Let me put the lid on it. And take it back up the hill real quick. Get away from these little scraggly rocks. All right, so I got my water. What I'm going to do is take this little middle lid off, replace it with a piece of t-shirt material that I brought and then screw the cap back on top. There we go. And now I'm gonna try to pour this water into this container here through the cloth. Hopefully I should get rid of some of the cloudiness. Okay, so what happened, what you got here is water tension. Because the cloth is soaked, the water doesn't want to pour through. So I didn't think about that, but I got to find a dry piece. So let me move it over a little bit, I think. Yeah. But look at that. Still cloudy, but it's getting better. So that's most of the water. Like I said, might not have been a necessary step, but so this is an eyedropper of bleach I got from the house. It's 7.9% bleach from a cheap bleach bottom. I'll try to put a video, a shot of the bottle I got it from here. But we were trained two drops per quart. This is about half a quart, maybe a little less. I'm gonna put like one and a half drops in. You can put two to four drops per quart. I'm gonna put about one and a half drops in here. That's it. I'm gonna get the bleach all around in there. The sun is coming up. And now I'm gonna take the cap off to let the bleach fumes evaporate. This is for the palatable part, for the taste. So I'm gonna get, let the bleach evaporate for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna pour it into the Sawyer bottle, and then I'm gonna drink this water. Somebody might be asking, why do you need this? <laughs> the, the answer is, hopefully you don't. Hopefully, we will always have nice, clean, fresh water to drink. Hopefully we'll always have central air and internet access too. 
Uh, but being able to be self-sufficient, being able to handle adversity, makes me feel more confident in my ability to take care of my family. Uh, I can go out and get us some water. If me and Peggy are boondocking for a week and we run out of water or run out of gas or whatever else it is, I'm gonna use what I have. I'm gonna use the abilities or skills that I have acquired over the years to make sure that we stay okay. The sun is coming up. I just realized I haven't watched the sun come up in a long time. Big and I used to go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I convinced her to get up. <laughs> It'd be freezing cold. But we'll sit on the beach and watch the sun come up. And she always say, man, I'm glad you made me do this. Let's see if I can get a shot of that sun coming up. No. <laughs> All right, so let's wait a little bit. I'll be right back once the, I feel like the uh, the bleach vapors have evaporated enough. All right, fam. Been a little more than 15 minutes. Okay, honestly, I can still smell a little bit of bleach. Yes, I can still smell a little bit of bleach. But if you've been swimming, you've taken in some bleach. I... I would rather have a little bit of bleach than any of the viruses that could be found in these um, public water sources. So what I'm going to do is, it's very weak. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my, my water filter bottle. I hope I got enough. The straw ain't very long. I hope it at least reaches to the straw. I just want to say again how impressed I am with how clean this is. I've tried this in the Army like several times. It has never been this clean. So the Missouri River over here under Page Avenue Bridge, if I was stuck in this area, I would come here every morning to get my water for the day. So I hope the straw reaches. Yes, it does. So, he is flipping up, got a little straw attached. So here it is. I know Peggy's watching this video right now like, oh my God, Donald, don't do it. Baby, I feel very, very, very confident that this is safe. So, uh, Sediment, virus, bacteria. I believe I've taken care of everything. Let's see what we got. That's just water. This reminds me of the water that, uh, the well water that I tasted in Conway, South Carolina when I was growing up. No grit whatsoever. Not a sand particle, not a anything. No grit whatsoever. It takes a little bit of a pull to get the water to the top, but I feel pretty confident that this is clean, safe water. I would give this to my kids I would give this to my wife. Again, I'm not sponsored by Sawyer. Sawyer didn't send me the bottle. I paid for this out of my own pocket. But I just think it's important to be able to take care of your family no matter what comes up. I, most likely, God, most likely with God's help, I will never ever need to feed or provide this for Peggy or my family. But in that slight chance that it does, I'll be ready. Thank God for the modern conveniences that you have. The water, the central air, the central heat. Not everybody has it. Keep that in mind. All right, fam. Like I always say, like Piggy and I always say, remember to goddamn do something good for yourself.
and for others as well. Y'all take it easy. Somebody had a fire going down here in the past couple days. It only goes to show that not everyone has the amount of conveniences that we have, that we take for granted. Looks like somebody had a blanket for warmth and got a little too close to the fire. 